What did our people do to you? Huh? What is your problem? Why? Why are you haunting us? Okay. I see. You don't want me to marry the princess. Huh? But let me tell you. You will fail. Do you know what? You cannot stop me. It is my right. I fought and I won. Liar! You cannot win what someone else had already won. It is his right and not yours. He stole the offer and tradition caught up with him. His death paved the way for me to marry the princess and rule the people of Umuegu. He was innocent. He did not steal the offer. Told you he was innocent. How did you know? Conspiracy. If he was innocent, what was the offer doing in his bag on that fateful day? Conspiracy. What conspiracy are you talking about? Eh? Besides, how does it concern you? Are you from Umuegu? Who are you to interfere in the affairs of Umuegu? He is dead and gone. That's why there will be no peace in Umuegu. I, I will shoot you! We should not forget that we are in the land of the dead. And what do you mean by that? I only said what came to my mind. But your utterance means you are scared. Yes, he is. <laughs> Look at his eyes. Fellow warriors, I beg of you, do not be afraid. We will return Ezemo's body back to our kingdom. And be rest assured, no harm shall befall any of us. Warriors, are you with me? Yes, yes we are. We are with you. Warriors, are you with me? Yes, yes we I are. Too. Warrior Kizze, you are still seated. Didn't you hear me? Warrior, are you still seated? Didn't you hear me?
Igwe, my fellow elders, the situation at hand needs an urgent attention. What do we do? Igwe, the situation has gone from bad to worse. Eh? Who do we run to? Who will save us from this? Your Highness, that is true. We are no longer safe in this land. And some of us who cannot contain the heat have run away to foreign lands. That reminds me, Your Highness. It has been a long time I saw your family last. Where are they? <clears throat> uh, they are fine. I asked them to remain indoors because of all the troubles in this community. I can't afford to lose them. Yes. But that one aside, Garap Gurunka, my stake in this matter is that we must make a move. That is my stake. I heard that there is a very strong Dibia in Ezinifite. A very good one. So I'm asking, is it not better we consult him? So that let us know whether he can tackle this issue. Eh? What do you people think? Igwe, that is a good idea. But I think... Uh, I want to suggest we should uh, wait a few more days to see if our warriors will come back before we send emissaries to Zinefite. I don't know if I've spoken our minds. I, I think that is a good idea. Yes. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, let us wait. Huh? Let us wait and see what we can do. Good. Okay. Igwe. 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 <coughs> 
coward think I'm scared of him? Eh? I'm not afraid of you! He best is not afraid of you! Huh? Wherever you might be! What am I even doing? Why am I wasting time? It's time I killed those three cowards that called themselves warriors that came along with me. Yes. I will kill every one of them. Then I will go to Ibekum's shrine. Get is a most body. Return it to our kingdom. Marry the princess. Then rule over the people of Umwegu. Forever. Yes! That is what I will do. Why am I even wasting my time now? Huh? Let me go look for those cowards. And kill them one after the other. Yes! Yes, Ibezim. Let me go look for those fools and kill them one after the other. Yes, that is what is going Yes! Where do you think you are going? You again? Huh? You again? I'm not afraid of you. I was innocent. They killed me. What? What they bought you? me alive. For not just cast. What? Okay? So it's you? Yes. Now they're feeling the heat. <laughs> I will let you go. Go! Tell them that I'm out! Tell them that Ogiri is out! I am out to kill and to destroy! I will kill whoever stands on my way! No! No! Never! I will not! Now listen! I am Ibezim! I'm a true son of Umuegu! I will not betray my people! Because they are looking up to me as their next king! Yes! And nobody! Nobody! Not even you will stop me from becoming the king of Umwegu. Not even you. <sighs> you. I was never interested in you. But you're getting on my nerves. You pissed me off. Mbana Barago. Okay, click on that book. What's it? I'm here. I am the true son of my father. Now listen. It's either you allow me to take. It's a must remains back to my kingdom. Or I will kill you the second time. I will kill you the second time. Come on! It is obvious that we can't wait anymore. Our warriors are there. We don't even know what is happening to them. We don't know whether they are dead. We don't know anything. And we cannot continue to fold our hands. No, we have to take the next option. Ichi Naji. Your Highness. Ichi Ogadi. Your Highness. Both of you will travel to Esinifite. When you get to Ezinifita, you make inquiry to get the best Tibia so that he will remedy the situation. No matter what it will cost. What? <laughs> Greetings, mortal men of Umwegu. Who are you? I am Mbeku. So you are Mbeku. So you are Mbeku. Where is the body of my chief priest? And where are my warriors? The body of your chief priest still remains 
where it is now. And your warriors! They are all dead! So, you killed my warriors? No. No! Don't get it all wrong. I did not. The bats killed them. The spirit of Fogidi is restless. His spirit is running. Second vengeance. So Ogidi is the one behind all this. Give him back his wife and his spirit will be at rest. What do you mean, give him his wife? What do you mean? Unless the princess is sacrificed, this whole kingdom will not know peace. Do you know what you're talking about? Unless my daughter is that! I'm going to them more! Hey! Yuru! Gather every member of this kingdom to this palace in the next market day. Go also and bring your wife and the princess wherever you've taken them. Make sure they also are here. Else, no one in this kingdom will live to tell the story. Go! Take you to the palace of Fumuegu. Tomorrow. Yes. If you fall. I will not fail. I will not fail. If you fall. I will not, I will not fail. I will not fail. If you fall. I will not fail. Wait! I will not fail. I will not fail. Would you, my friend? Would you? Would you? Would you? Would you? Come, let's go inside. Eh? So that you can take your bag and eat. Eh? Nina is waiting for you. Come, oh, let's go. Hey. It's your him. She's right. Let's go inside so you could take your bath and eat. Oh, please. Nina is waiting for you. You know you're a woman. Us. Yes. When did you come here? We just came. We just came. What are you doing here by this time of the night? We came to see you. Wait, where's my mother? She's inside. She's going. What was I doing here? Hey.
your highness. Oh no. We've all gathered here today as arranged. Even the people of uh, Zago are all here. But your wife and your daughter, they are not here. Where are they? Um, uh, Ichi and Naji. Uh, that day you asked me about my wife and my daughter. Yes. I told you I locked them inside because of what was happening. Yes. Um, uh, I lied. Igwe, you lied? Oh, listen to me. Oh, eh? really? Because of all the things that were happening, I sent them to my maternal home. Yes, that's what I did. But when uh, Mbeku came, after our encounter with him, I now have to make a choice between my daughter and the, the, the life of the entire kingdom. And being a good king, I believe that I am. I, I, I have regard for the life of my people and just my daughter. So I decided to give my daughter. So don't worry yourself. Both of them will soon be here. Igwe, how are we sure that they will come back? Oh. How are we even sure that you are not lying to us another time? Do not be troubled. The queen and the princess they are coming. I said it. Some time ago in this kingdom, a wrestling contest was held. And the winner of that contest was framed and burnt alive. <laughs> Duru! Wise one. Duru, tell these people here how it happened. Hey, get the guy is it go? Hey, my people, uh, it wasn't an intentional act. Yes. How can I do a thing like that? Ogidi uh, is a young man I, I love so much. But, uh, hey, it happened the day th th this girl here, this girl here came. Hey, hey, could you Allow her. Long live your highness. My daughter, you are welcome. Who are you and what brought you to my palace? Your highness, my name is Obianoju and I am from Eziago Kingdom. Ah, Eziago, my in-laws to be. Come in, come in, come in. Thank you, your highness. So, what brought you to my palace? Guards, Your Highness. leave us. My daughter, this thing you refuse to speak in the presence of the guards must be very serious. So, I'm all ears. Speak. Your Highness, it's about Ogidi, mm -hmm. the man that wants to marry your daughter. He has epilepsy. Huh? Agugu! Agugu! Yes, Your Highness. How do you know? My King, he wanted to marry me when I found out. It occurred severally in my presence. So, I had to discontinue with the marriage agreement 
to avoid the shame and the disgrace. And when I heard that he wants to marry the princess of this kingdom, I had to force myself to come and tell you about him. My daughter, are you sure of what you've just said? Yes, Your Highness. Do you know the implication of what you've just said if it turned out to be a lie? Your Highness, kill me if you find out I am lying. Hey! Hey, whoa! Akuku! Kedi kamuna akuku yesu eje? Kedi kamuna, kedi yewa sambasa akuku! No, my daughter, you've done well. You've done great. And you must be rewarded for this wonderful information. Thank you very much. No, you must be rewarded. Hey! Akuku! Akuku! Akuku no bigwe! Akuku no bigwe! Can you get it? Epilepsy. In my bloodline? No, it's not possible. It is not possible. Never! Hey! Mbano. Mado ya afuchi isi je buo isi. Mado ya afu oku welaka sobu ini moku. My others, I called all of you here. So that I want us to think out something. Because I will never allow that young man marry my daughter. Never! I cannot allow that. You also nyambolo. Mbano. Um, Your Highness, does he wear or can know about that? I don't want to know. I don't know and I don't want to know. Whether he knows or whether he doesn't know. I don't want to know. All I am saying is this. My daughter will not marry that man. Never. I can tell him that my daughter is dead. I can do anything but not to make sure I stop him from marrying my daughter. Your Highness. I'm, 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 I'm. Your Highness, calm hmm? down. Calm down. It hasn't gotten to that. We all know that it is not possible for the princess of this great land to be married to a man suffering from Hello. epilepsy. It is a taboo. Yes. It is a sacrilege that we would never allow to happen to any maiden in this land. Not to talk of the princess. Uh, it will never happen. No, no, no. Yes. My people... Uh. My people in this case, what do we do then? I have to tell her, I'm going to tell her. Can you tell her? Oh no, I don't want to tell her, I'm going to tell her, I'm going to tell her, what do you think we can do? Can you tell her? Can you tell her? Can you tell her? Your Highness, I suggest we have that young man set up and killed. I want you to tell me. We kill him before he takes our princess away. There is no excuse that we will give now that we make the people of Ezago understand us. They will not. Because he won the contest. And they know what they are going to benefit from the marriage. Hamankwe, they will not agree.
On that fateful day, when I was blessing their marriage, Oh, my daughter, come here, come here. You're down. Mwamolo na mwa. Acha lugo mwam. Enenebejolo. This is drink. Hmm? And everybody here, they are waiting to see who your husband is. So I want you to carry this drink. Go to your husband so that everybody will know that this is your husband. Mm? Okay. An innocent man? You don't mind, I'm going to kill you out of gum. Out of gum. Yeah, you. I hope you are not on it. I hope you. I hope you are not going to kill me. Hey! But, 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 did you care to ask me? Did you bother to ask me? I did not. That's, I'm, that's my mistake. Be a bad you. How could you do such? How? <laughs> It was I don't understand what you are talking about. What are you trying to say? Uju, what I'm trying to say is this. If you allow Ogidi to marry the princess, eh, you stand to be the loser. Eh? Everybody in this kingdom know how, how close you are to Ogidi. Eh? See, if you allow Ogidi to marry the princess, that means no man in this kingdom will marry you. But why? Ogidi has been telling everybody in this kingdom how he abandoned you. <gasps> yes! And you know, we know everything. Eh? We know how close you are to Gidi. See, he even said it openly yesterday. See, he wants a fresh woman for himself. Yes. And that is why he wants to leave you for the princess. You mean Ogidi said all this? Yes. 
saying I should go to Amaze and say this to the king? Yes. Oh. Yes. <sighs> okay. And then what will happen? The king will reject Ogidi completely. Then he will now come to you and marry you. He's your man. Think about it. I brought it for you. Are you serious? Hey, Thank you very much. This is very heavy. Hey. May you be blessed. May you be greater than your mate. Say. May you be favored by gods and men. Say. May you live and dine with kings and queens. And may your children be royalty. Say. Mama. But I'm not from a royal home. What can see? Say. Say. May your enemies know no peace. Say. Thank you very much. Yeah, they won't care what's going on. Hey, hey, you're welcome, my son. You're welcome, my daughter. Hey, how are you? How are you? I brought her home for you. You brought her back for me? Yeah. I know what you can do. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. Ah, ne, I'll be on my way. Kairun at the Kwano God Church. Ne, I'm a happy man. <laughs> uh, ne, I hope you still have bush meat in the house. More than enough. All thanks to you. <laughs> okay. Ne, I'll, I'll be on my way. You know me. How many times? How many times? <laughs> no problem. Uh, ne, take care of her for me. No problem.
I wish I could pay you back for all you have been doing for us. I really wish I could. Ne, you don't have to worry yourself. Everything I'm doing for you and your mother is from the bottom of my heart. I'm not doing it to be rewarded in any form. I'm doing it because my spirit likes you. think that there is something I should have done to appreciate you which I have not done something like what I was just asking I'm not sure are you sure yes I love you too. If you know you love me, then come with me. Come. Let me give my hand. Tradition. Ogidi lost you. No matter what happens, you must accept the fact that he is going to marry the princess. No, Mba. That will never happen. I cannot leave my man for any woman. I cannot. Uba, Uba, why? From the little I know, Ogidi was your best friend. How could you do such to him, Uba? Why? Wait a minute. This is impossible. So, if we get the married to the princess of Umago Kingdom, he will definitely become their king. Even myself will call him His Highness. Come on, Ogidi. This is impossible.
over my dead body. I will stop him. I must stop him. Hello. Hello. This is height of wickedness. You were his best friend. You are heartless, Oba. You are heartless. Ogidi was killed for nothing. His spirit and the souls of so many innocent people that has been killed in this kingdom cried out for vengeance. And the gods had them. The gods used Ogidi to avenge their death. How can we make restitution? Or I mean, how can we appease the gods? You have a tradition in this kingdom. Whosoever steals a sacred object must be burnt alive. The offer was found in the bag of an innocent man and was burnt alive for a crime he knew nothing about. The truth has been revealed. Whoever put the offer in his bag is the thief. Yes! The princess must be sacrificed. She must be burnt alive. Yes! So that the spirit of Ogidi will rest. Ogidi! No! <laughs> Danger in the land, the fear is everywhere For the bad and the evil men The evil men do their things Try them is the cry of the innocent blood He is the bad, the bad that kills That kills the evil he is the bat, the bat that kills, that kills the evil men. He said he's the bat, the one that kills to me. Cause the people he kills are innocent And your blood is flowing like rain He said he's the beast, the beast that kills, that kills the evil men They call him the bats, he's dangerous he's Batman is yet, he's yet to kill and destroy the wicked men. The Batman is yet, he's yet to kill and end the heartless men.
madam kill me. Father, please, I'm begging you. Father. My hands are tight. My hands are tight. It's for the interest of the kingdom. It's for the interest of the kingdom. Father, please do something. Father, I'm your only child. Don't let them kill me. Father, please, I'm begging you. Father, look at me. Father, please don't let them kill me. Father, please. Father!
loud in the land The fear is everywhere For the bad and the evil men The evil men do Let it destroy them Is the cry of the innocent blood Yeah.